welcome students to this video lecture on reservoirs Res a reservoir is a is an artificial lake where water is stored the reservoirs get formed when we construct a dam across a river when we construct a dam across rivers so that impounding of the water that collection of the water behind dam is called a reservoir the dam controls the amount of water that flows out of the reservoir so there is an in so let's see how it works so this is uh, this is dam this is dam the this the storage of this water is called reservoir to control the water from the reservoir out into the downstream of the dam so these are the gates basically these are the gates and here these are turbines hydroelectric power we will see later in this lecture there are two types of reservoirs we can classify reservoirs into two types the impoundment uh, type of reservoirs and the offstream type of reservoirs the impoundment reservoirs are of these types say uh, storage reservoirs flood control reservoirs retarding reservoirs detention reservoirs distribution reservoirs a multi purpose reservoir and lastly balancing type of reservoirs let's see uh, it's uh, the explanation of this type of reservoirs a storage reservoir the storage reservoir is it's also called a conservation reservoir why so because these are the store these are used to conserve the water the storage reservoir these are used to store the water in the rainy season and this accumulation of water this storage of water in the dam done during the rainy season we usually release it when the river flow is low the river flow is low after the rainy season has passed so we can utilize in the later period after the storage flood control reservoirs so as the name suggests these type of reservoirs are used to control the water in the flood uh, uh, flood uh, in the flood waters in the rivers the a flood control reservoir holds up the flood waters when the river stage is rising and thus Uh, this storage of water results in reduction of the peak rate of flow of the river downstream of the dam so this water which we have stored this flood water which we have stored can be released when needed when needed or when the flood is receding we can slowly release the water when it is safer next type of are uh, a uh, impoundment reservoir is a retarding reservoirs again as the name suggests these reservoirs are used to retard uh, retard retard means slow retard the quantity the impact the velocity of the water in the uh, rivers so let's see its definition a retarding reservoir is provided with and how we can control the velocity or impact uh, or quantity of the water by using the spillways and sluice ways which are otherwise ungated ungated means we cannot control it but the use uh, sp uh, the presence of spillways and sluice ways is definitely retards the velocity of the waters detention reservoir so as is clear from its name also detention means to detain to store detain what 
detain uh, a detention reservoir stores excess water during floods it detains the excess water during flood period and releases it when the uh, after the flood water has uh, receded in the upstream of the dam so it is similarly basically it's similar to the storage reservoirs but is provided with large gated spillways and sluiceways gated means so here we we can use the gates to release the water as the need be as a requirement be as the situation be so the presence of gates gives permits the flexibility of operation of the uh, detention reservoirs next it is distribution reservoir distribution reservoir reservoirs are not basically dams these are uh, sort of tank uh, tanky as we said tank a distribution reservoir is a small storage reservoirs to tide over the peak demand of water for municipal water supply or irrigation so as tanks in the um, uh, cities or towns uh, water is stored the, let's see permit the pumps to work at a uniform rate used to supply water even at rate higher than the inflow rate during period of maximum demand called critical period of demand so what does this mean in cities say in the uh, uh, <coughs> sub, in the time of summer in summer season when there is a critical uh, 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 there are uh, periods which we call as critical periods of demand when the inflow of water inflow rate of uh, water during this period is actually uh, low and uh, we we need to supply water uh, at a rate which is higher than the inflow rate how can we provide the supply to the city or town or metropolitan city at a rate higher than the inflow rate if we have stored water in the small storage tanks or uh, uh, small storage reservoirs so this way uh, we can use pumps to work at a uniform rate so the pumps can work at a uniform rate throughout the year when inflow rate is higher we can supply lesser of the water and pass the water uh, to the river or we can say store the water and supply from the storage along with the inflow of the water to the town or city so this is the purpose of the distribution reservoir multi purpose reservoirs as the name suggests these are the reservoirs which serve more than one purpose during its existence so the purpose can be two or more of these uh, uh, options water supply the reservoir can be used for water supply to the town it can be used it can serve to flood control the floods it can used the uh, the purpose of the uh, dam can be to check the soil erosion upstream of the dam site it can be uh, um, uh, it can help in the environmental management of the area the dam can be used for hydroelectric power generation it can also be used for navigation purposes uh the dam can be used for recreation purpose like fishing or uh, boating so the dam can be used for irrigation purposes so ir irrigation purpose means supplying water to the river system downstream of the dam it can be a part of the larger scheme so at any dam which serves more than any two of these functions we can say it's a multi purpose reservoir the balance coming next to the balancing reservoir a balancing reservoir is a small reservoir basically these are small reservoirs constructed downstream of the main reservoir so it is in addition to the main reservoir for holding water released from the dam say from the spillways if there is an excess of water from the main dam so this water will be 
uh, going to the balancing reservoirs uh, where it is hold for future uses. So it adds up to the total capacity of the dams. The second class, uh, the second uh, type of the reservoir is off-stream reservoirs. So as the name suggests, these are the reservoirs that are not on the river course, but these are not on the river course, but these dams are constricted to store water. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the water may be uh, taken from the river by pipes or by pumping or it can be, uh, uh, it can store the rainwater, uh, rainwater also. Upstream reservoirs are formed by partially or completely enclosed waterproof bags. It can be, it's, it's bags can be partial or completely enclosed waterproof banks. It can have and the embankments around an off-stream reservoir are usually made up from concrete or clay. So the banks of the off-stream reservoirs are usually made of concrete or clay. These are partially or completely in waterproof banks. These are not on the river course. The functions of reservoirs. Let's discuss a few of the functions of the reservoirs. Uh, 